hello friends in this video i will be explaining you if you have all the versions of dotnet framework installed in your computer system then how many clrs do you have this is a very interesting question i have dotnet framework version 2.0 3.0 3.5 and 4.0 then possibly how many CLRs should I have if you look at this path which is C colon slash Windows slash Microsoft dot net slash framework under this path in your computer system you will most probably see all these folders for dot net framework which you can see in my computer system as well now the question is how do I know how many CLRs I have there is a trick to know that. Let's go and see how. I go to Visual Studio 2010. Then I go to Studio Tools. And then I invoke a command prompt window. In this command prompt window, I type a command called CLR ver, which means CLR version. Once you have typed that command, you need to press enter. And after pressing enter, you will observe that there are two CLR versions listed over here, as you can see right over here. So these are the two versions which are available in my computer system. Means I have two different CLRs. Assume you have only Visual Studio 2008 which actually supports .NET Framework 3.5, then you would have only CLR 2.0. But since I have Visual Studio 2010, which is actually built upon .NET Framework 4.0, and I also have Visual Studio 2012, which works upon .NET Framework 4.5, and that's why I have CLR 4.0 as well. Now, the question is that why do we need a different CLR? Wasn't CLR 2.0 sufficient enough to support .NET Framework 4 and 4.5? Actually, it was not. Reason being, in .NET Framework 4.0, Microsoft introduced dynamic language feature, which is not by default part of CLR 2.0. And this dynamic language feature needed a totally separate runtime. Microsoft called that DLR, dynamic language runtime. To add that into a CLR, Microsoft had to cut a new CLR and release it separately with different .NET Framework versions, .NET 4 and 4.5. Now all the new versions coming in near future as well will continue to run upon CLR 4.0. So hope you learned something new today. Thank you very much for listening.